generated more calls, emails, letters, of people wanting to audition. It's been amazing. Musically, it is, it's so upbeat and fun that it really does gravitate or gravitates a strong audience towards the show. And yet it still has really actually very strong messages. It centers around a dance show, very much like American Bandstand. It is actually based on a real dance show that uh, a gentleman ran in Baltimore at the same time. And once a week they would have Negro Day. Of course, with Tracy and her friends cross over and don't have that line down between everybody racially. Local auditions, it's one of, if not the highest turnout we've had. We actually had to extend it into two nine-hour days and then even had to turn people away. I can easily say between Denver, LA, and New York, I know I've seen between seven and 800 people for this show. Nice, Madison. Between first auditions in Denver, then a week in LA, and then a week in New York, I needed to see the Denver people again. I just needed to refresh my mind in who I was looking at here, so I, I brought them back again for one more final callback, just to confirm and reaffirm where I was. Great, wonderful, Aisha. That's all I need for today. That's all great. Right. Thank you very Thank much. You so it's such a balance in casting, in trying to find the right person for the right role, which really is my priority. It's not a matter of that I need to cast locally or that I need to cast out of town. My priority is always casting the right person for the right role. But as a whole package, he's stronger, yeah. He didn't, this one doesn't have the voice, but the look is better. But then you have to balance that as a director and a producer, since I do both in this case. Mm -hmm. Then I have to look at the budget and balance out what are the out-of-town costs if I'm bringing somebody in. When I get into some of these other guys from out of town with agents, then I've got transportation, housing, local transportation, agent fees, and suddenly I'm you know, paying more than I'm paying principals. So trying to take that first original goal of what is going to give us the best quality show and then balancing it with being financially responsible. Scenically, our scenic designs, our costume designs, all of those costs have to be considered in, in that whole approach. These guys, all from a dance point, would there's no question in any one of them. Between working with David Nels, our musical director, and Kitty skillman Hilsebeck, our choreographer, so again, we're a pretty set team. We Often we'll see differences, so it's important for me to find, you know, from David, okay, vocally, I see them it's in this level of strength, and do you see the same thing? Numbers, we compare, that, usually, like, what are our top three, and how we rate them. Uh, for me, it's these guys. And the same thing with Kitty. She obviously looks at it from the, their dance ability and what they can bring to it. Dance-wise, where dance would you Dance-wise, it would be Sally. Then let's do it. I'm not looking for a 2010 American Idol, I'm looking for a 1960s teen idol. There's very much a difference in the approach and how those characters are presented. And even from a vocal style, from a movement style, all of those have to be taken into it. Wonderful. That's all I need for right now. Can you hang out okay. just a second for me? Just a few more minutes for me? Yeah. Good. Edna it is, is traditionally played by a man, and yet it's really not a drag role. It has to be very much a realistic mother of that period. Our Edna will be a gentleman named Jim J. Bullock. He did a lot of television in the 70s and 80s. He's a, a character actor. He did a lot of sitcoms. He was on Hollywood Squares for like four years. He's done some amazing work, and he's known for his comic timing. He did um, come to our LA auditions, and did a wonderful job. And he seems like a very nice guy. There was none of that attitude thing. Uh, there was no, that LA feel you can get sometimes. Right now, it looks like this will be a cast of 33. So it's, again, fairly large. For now, I just need to hear the chorus people. This show, the energy in it, the dance, the music, it is so high-end energy. 
Even one of the auditions we did at the callbacks when I had the younger ensemble people go through the number. We're going to sing it all together twice, and then I'm breaking it down into fours like I did before. I, at one point, just for my own enjoyment, had them all do it together. I just want to thank you sincerely. Um, trust me, after being in L.A. for a week and then in New York for a week, you guys did Denver real proud. Yay. So <laughs> thank you very much. And I will be talking to some of you shortly. <coughs> and as I said, it was like watching an episode of Glee. I mean, all these young people, and it sounded amazing. One, two, and... So it, it really, that excitement level, that energy, you, you definitely will leave this one feeling good. To use a phrase from it, you can't stop the beat.